Hello YouTube and welcome back to Just Get A Tesla. It's actually a week and a half now since I got the car and I haven't done a lot of talking or any videos of anything because I pretty much lost my voice with a cold. And if you're croaking or sounding like Dalek, it's not great for making video. What I have got though is a mystery to solve, which is why is my screen wash not working? Because I have driven the car a couple of times. Um, we still have flying insects and things here at the back end of the summer in Scotland. And a few have splattered on the screen. Press and hold the button on the end of the stock. Nothing happening. So let's go and investigate. So the first thing we need to do is to pop the trunk and go and have a look at the wash bottle. So let's go and do that now. Am I pressing the wrong bit? There we go. I love the way that the graphic shows the thing flying upwards like it's powered, whereas in reality, it's not powered. It is a bit of a misleading graphic there from Tesla. And you still have to manually lift the thing up. I've got various bits of stuff still in the trunk and the screen wash thing is here. So the first thing, why has the car just locked itself? <laughs> Come on car. I didn't tell you to lock yourself. Um, the first thing that I want to check here is, is there actually any screen wash in it? Here's the first question. So let's fill it up. Okay, it's just taken a couple of litres of screen wash fluid. Um, there wasn't any in it, that's fairly clear. So if we press the button now, Ha. Nothing. Okay. Let's have another think. There's a reason, and we're going to find out why, before we get on to booking service for it. Okay, I've done a bit of Googling using the browser on the screen. Uh, what it's suggesting is there might be something disconnected on the uh, back of the washer bottle or between the washer bottle and the wipers. So again, let's go and have a look. We'll open the trunk and we'll go and have a look. See if we can figure this out. So, that goes up like that. Okay, so washer bottle's under here. That's just a panel, isn't it? Hang on. Yeah, that's just pop out. Panels. I've had the car for a week and a half and I'm dismantling bits of it already. Come on. Let's have a look. There we go. Ooh, shiny. Not shiny, plastic. I hope that goes back on easily. Okay, so washer bottles down here. Well, the neck's here. The rest of it kind of goes back into there, but looking at it, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the pipe where the fluid is coming out, I think. And then if I have a look over here, yeah. Yeah, it's the same pipe that's going to here that's uh, splitting to go onto the, um, onto the wipers. Okay, that, just having a feel, that doesn't feel like it's tangled or it's got any knots in it. Uh, if I have a feel down the back, it is definitely connecting onto the back of the bottle. Huh. Hmm. Okay, let's have a think. Just prop that up for now. I know I need to close this. Both hands here. There you go. I know I need to close that because otherwise the wipers are going to clash with it. So, hang on, let's have another look. Let's have another look. Excellent, the car's turned itself off. Hang on, right, I've had to hit the brake pedal to get it to switch back on again. Hang on. Ah! When it says press and hold the button to make to wash the wipers, the button. It's not just, look, you can press it to there to make it turn on and off. It's not just press and hold. 
there's a there's another position if you push and hold like that then it works why didn't i know that that's just absolutely stupid um have i missed that in the manual that there's two positions on the button because i just thought it was press it to make get one flick and then press and hold to make it and um, put the swooshes on <sighs> okay let's go and put it back together honestly there are times where i just think i'm a bit dumb and clearly that's the first one let's put this back on there's a load of poppers under here which just go back into place i think there's a couple up here yeah a couple there as well okay this while it's making pop noises that's okay because they are plastic poppers going back into the retaining lugs where they're supposed to be okay that is that just bear with me a second because otherwise much easier if we put it down like that so the um, <laughs> just get a tesla top tip of the day if your windscreen washers aren't working one is there any fluid in the bottle because mine came with nothing two do you actually understand how your car works read the manual i've read the manual i've gone through all the list of different things and i'd still missed that so if you're having similar problems, don't start pulling your car apart like I have. Just press the button a little harder. And with that, YouTube, I'm going to say see you later. Don't forget, like, subscribe. There's going to be more idiocy. Here's the idiot coming up on this channel. Um, so let's, um, let's uh, share in my stupidity together.